Hello YouTube, welcome by a new computer vlog. Today I picked up 10 brand new cases, but they are still in my car. So I gonna make a video about them later. But the seller also had this box of VDA cards. So I was taking a look on them and was sorting out uh, which cards I wanted to buy from him. And then we made a deal, uh, a few uh, video cards and, and uh, squishy cards and I said I, I want to pay 30 euros for it. Then he said to me, if you pay 50 you can take the whole box. So I bought the whole box. So let's take a look in the box and see what cards I have. But first we have here 8 brand new floppy drives, they are silver colored just like the cases. And he gave them for free. Here we have one box of the Miro Crystal 20 SD. But there's an other card inside. I think this is some kind of a TV tuner. But also a video card maybe. Because there's a memory bank here. So I need to research this more. But the nice thing in the makeup PC uh, retro haul video. I bought this video card. So I now have the video card and the box. So that's always nice. Let's see what we have here. We have an AT Rage Pro Turbo HCP with a special bracket. I think this comes out of a compact system or something like that. And the card has 8 megabytes of memory. Here we have an SD3064 card with memory expansion. So a simple PC uh, video card. Here we have an uh, HP card from Fastware with 8 megabytes, but I don't see where the chip it is. An S3 Savage 3D. So I oh and here it says also 8 megabytes. A SIS HP card, a 6326. I think this must be also an 8 megabyte card. Here we have a Matrox D200. Always nice to find them. The card has 8 megabytes and is really good quality. Nice. Here we have an S3 Verge from Daytona. It's just a simple PCI video card. Here we have a Cirrus Logic uh, CLGG5440. And it's also a simple PCI video card. Here we have an Hercules Terminator Beast. And I looked it up and it's an S3 Savage card with 8 megabytes. Another AT video card like this one. Also a Serious Logic video card. Just a simple PCI video card. Here we have a Diamond Stealth uh, 3D2000 with an S3 uh, chipset. So very nice. And more AT cards. Here we have a Diamond Stealth 2 S220 PCI video card with 4 megabytes of memory. And I really like this card. So nice find. Another Fastware S3 Trio video card. And here we have another SIS HP video card but this one is from Diamond. And it's a Speedstar A50, 8 megabytes. Here we have a Riva TNT 2 Fanta, 16 megabytes. And here we have another HCP S3 Savage 3D. And another Stealth 2 S220. Here we have a Daytona video card with an Intel 740 video chip. And it's also an HP card. Alien Semiconductor 8025 uh, video card, PCI, with 4 megabytes of memory. And I think it's the same chipset as on the Voodoo Rush. Here we have another ST Trio video card. And an S3 Verge video card. Another Diamond Stealth 220. Also a simple Sears Logic PCI video card. Another Diamond Stealth S220. Here we have an Adaptex Cousy card. It's an Ultra 2 wide card. And it's a compact OEM. And it's great that it comes with a nice cable. Including a 
68 pin to 50 pin uh, adapter. Here we have another Matrox G200 and an S330 64. Here we have another diamond card. It's an, an Fire 1K Pro HCP 8 megabyte. And here we have another Adaptex Cousy controller, just like the other one, also with a nice cable. And here we have another Matrox G200 and more Matrox G200. Here we have an HCP S3 uh, Trio and another Diamond Stealth 2 S220. Here we have a Trident HCP card, it's a 3D Image 9750. And here we have a generic S3 First GX2 HCP card with uh, TV out and another AT video card. And here we have a Fast AV Master PCI card. And I think it's some kind of video capture card. And another Adaptec 2940 Ultra 2 White. Also with a cable. Here we have a Matrox Millennium 4 MB. So that's also a very awesome PCI video card. And here we have another Matrox Mystique 4 MB card. And I really like uh, the Matrox cards. And another AT uh, video card. And here we have a compact Matrox Millennium card with 4 megabytes. So also a very nice card. But there is more. Maybe someone will recognize this cable because this one is a Diamond Monster 3D 4 megabyte Fudu 1 card. Hell yeah! The card is really shiny and clean, so maybe it's never used. So it's really awesome to find one uh, in such state. But there's one card left. And 3D FX Voodoo 2. This Voodoo 2 has 12 megabytes of memory and is a really awesome find. But I can't find a brand on this card. So I gonna try to google the, uh, the card number to see which card it is. If I google the number here on the back of the card, uh, it says it's a Hercules Stingray 3D. So that's a really awesome card. So let's see how many video cards I bought for 50 euros. Here we have the three uh, Scoozy cards. We have 10 PCI video cards and we have uh, 11 normal HCP video cards, 5 uh, AT video cards with this special form factor. We have 4 Matrox D200 video cards, but 2 cards have heat sinks and the other cards are missing the heat sinks. So I don't know if they are removed or this may be a slower version. 1 Diamond Fire card, 5 Diamond Stealth 2 S220 cards. 3 uh, PCI Matrox video cards and 1 Diamond uh, Stealth 3D 2000 video cards and a Fudu 1 and a Fudu 2. So that makes in total 42 video cards, 3 Scoozy cards and 2 TV cards. So that's a pretty nice deal for 50 euros. This section of the cards is for my uh, collection and all the simple HCP and PCI video cards I really don't know what to do with them. So if you have a good idea what to do with the simple PCI video cards, please leave a comment. These cards are not that special, so shipping overseas, I don't gonna do it because it's just way too much money for the cards. Because uh, I pay in Europe, I think 13 euros to ship it around and overseas to uh, Outside of Europe, it's around 25 euros. If you buy an uh, old computer part from someone, always ask if they have more parts laying around, because here's the result of it. Before I went, I didn't know and he didn't mention he had more computer parts. So we uh, looked around what he still had and I had the chance to uh, buy this. I really liked the Matrox, Diamond and 3DFX video cards, because that is my main collection of video cards. 
I always test all my uh, hardware that comes in. So I have a lot of work to do to check all these video cards. But I gonna start with the cards I uh, really gonna keep. And I don't gonna bother too much on this stack of cards. And I really like the Adapix Cousy cards because they have really excellent driver support. They always work. You can boot any system uh, with a uh, Scusi CD-ROM. Uh, they are just uh, perfect cards. And I have now uh, three Ultra 2 Whites extra and I already had one. So I have now enough cards to uh, put them in uh, Pentium 3 uh, builds. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe and leave a comment. Please join Retro Machines on uh, Facebook. And if you like, you can support me on Patreon. See you next time.